Deputy Minister and Nathan Ayi. What is the sense of inviting the Deputy Minister for the discussion of the national state? Minister, I think for the second term, the, the President has emphasized the need for creating linkages uh, for partnership uh, amongst uh, the ministries because we've seen very clearly that uh, most ministries, the work they do dovetails into uh, each other. National uh, edifice is uh, located in the FCT and in line with our effort to really bring this place back to life, um, the minister actually approached me initially uh, concerning the 5,000 capacity parking area that we have, which we also have been trying to put back to use. So we had a joint inspection to look at the car park and what needs to be done. But we also had the benefit of the master plan to look at uh, other critical areas where we can partner. We've identified about four or five areas we can partner in terms of uh, the car park putting it to usage, in terms of uh, reactivating the passage that connects uh, the stadium to the city, uh, in terms of uh, even the lightning system within the stadium. So uh, this is a partnership that I think will work, and uh, from tomorrow we will see that happen eventually. Who is asking the uh, second I'm question? Asking okay. Uh, Honourable Minister, sir, uh, being the Minister of Sport, and uh, we all know that uh, we are uh, fighting to secure the hosting right to host the uh, FIFA Under 20 World Cup, the Women FIFA Under 20 World Cup next year. Well, are you are you comfortable with the fact that Abuja, being the capital of Nigeria, would not be hosting uh, any of the matches? Well, first, there's no finality to what cities will host those matches. Um, we have been in constant touch with uh, the FIFA team. They were here sometime in August. Um, we hope they will return soon. We're looking at a single city hosting, likely going to be Lagos. But uh, let me also say this. Both NFF and the Ministry have been reviewing some of the requirements that uh, FIFA needs for us to have in place. 11 practice uh, pitches to major uh, stadia and of course a few other requirements medical facilities uh, security uh, network and all of that we're renewing it we're looking at it within the space of time that we have and um, at some point we'll be able to communicate with uh, FIFA we're going to be very realistic we have between now and January to be able to meet up with all, almost all the the things they require, we look at it within the limit of time and our resources, and then we can both reach a joint decision with FIFA to say, will Nigeria be ready at that point in time? It goes beyond being given the right. You must also have the facilities up and running. As you know, we're just trying to also get private money into, into sports uh, development and funding. So that process is ongoing. Um, Abuja, yes, Abuja is coming back up already. We've gotten Dangote, I can say that, has agreed to bring back the Abuja football pitch and the scoreboard and the lights. Work will start in another one week or two weeks. And we'll use the same model, is adopt a pitch model for several of our other stay there, at least the three other big ones. So we're looking at between now and March, we shall have four big stay there, football pitches, FIFA standard. And I think if we're given time within a year, this country should be ready to host virtually any FIFA soccer tournament. Last question, please. Sorry, uh, uh, for not from you, uh, not from you. Okay. Who is asking the last question? Honorable Minister, sir. This evening you issued a directive suspending the AFN, AFN uh, technical director. Are we going to see further actions in regards to Doha uh, participation, sir? Well, the ministry will be guided by the report of the committee is set up. The committee turned in this report um, about 10 days ago. The ministry has studied the report. There was an implementation committee that was set up. There are recommendations already. Uh, some of them have been accepted. The ones that have been accepted, we have communicated that. That's what you have in the public space. We're going to look at other recommendations 
some of the things we will do will not really be in the public space. We're going to do some internal uh, tweaking to make sure that uh, we prepare our team for the Olympics 2020. But more especially to make sure that all our federations, not just AFN, really work professionally without any hiccups. So that's all I can say for that. For now. Thank you so much. There's no female that asked the question. I want to give the female a chance. Okay. Because you just answered me, I was like, when are we going to get this stadium come alive? And you know. But is it not alive now? <laughs> No. Sir, no, you may alive. also want to know if Dalen Gote is investing, okay, uh, what, is his, what does he stand to benefit? He's a that, businessman. That's, that's a private, it's a commercial agreement. <laughs> so uh, he's not in need for profit or for revenue. Uh, like I told you, it's an adoption campaign we're doing. And apart from him, we have adopt an athlete campaign. We're looking for Nigerians that will adopt athletes. They have an organic relationship to support their training, their campaign. We have adopt a sports center. We're going to corporate organizations that were adopted at the basketball, the swimming pool. So it's a, it's a huge adoption campaign and it's not for the money. It's, it's more about patriotism and support uh, support for the sports yeah. development of our country. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>